Committees of Safety An American Tradition Definition A committee of safety is defined as a mutual self-defense association that also operates as a parallel government. Historically, they were known under a variety of names, yet their function was exactly the same to pool manpower for defense of the community and legitimize a self-organized populist government. Relationship with the militias The political ideology of these United States is classically liberal republicanism. As such, a key tenant is that the military is subordinated to the civil authority. If the militia is the military, then what constitutes the civil authority? The answer is the committees of safety. Legitimacy and the consent of the governed. Committees of safety were legitimized by general associations composed of the individual citizens within a defined geographical area. For example, a town, county, provincial, etc. These associations were comprised of the rank and file membership who received protection and who in turn gave their individual explicit consent to their particular local committee of safety. Mutual aid. Committees of safety are, first and foremost, expressions of mutual aid. Mutual aid is defined here as reciprocal favor trading. I scratch your back and you scratch mine. No man is an island since we are all in this together. So the question is not, how will we all survive, but rather, how will we all survive together? Usefulness in an emergency. A committee of safety is an organizing model by which to coordinate the assemblage of men and materiel in preparation for a disaster. Given that committees of safety were used during two successful people's wars, then committees of safety have demonstrated their effectiveness historically. In 1775, there was the American Revolutionary War for Independence, and in 1835, the Texan Revolutionary War for Independence. What about sustainability? Committees of safety are invaluable even in the absence of emergencies. They are a limited form of government which is directly accountable to the people within a local community. The committee men are susceptible to public shaming and ostracism should they abuse their public office. This is what actually keeps their power limited. Historicity of the Committees of Safety Committees of Safety are pre-constitutional, extending as far back as the English Civil War of the mid-17th century. Interestingly enough, the British levelers, who arose during this period, are considered by modern historians to be the first libertarians. During the American Revolution, committees of safety were crucial for organizing the resistance effort against the British Empire. Some of these committees of safety include the Cambridge Committees of Safety and Supplies, the Manitomi Provincial Committees of Safety and Supplies, the Lexington Committee of Safety, the Charleston Committee of Safety, and the Roxbury Committee of Safety, besides many, many others. 
during the Texan Revolution, committees of safety were crucial for organizing the resistance effort against Santa Ana's dictatorship. Some of these committees of safety included the San Felipe Committee of Safety and the MENA, now modern-day Bastrop, Committee of Safety. Committees of Safety During the Texas Revolution of 1835 Rupert Richardson wrote in his 1981 book, Texas, the Lone Star State, quote, In the American Revolution, it was the Committees of Correspondence which began in Massachusetts in 1772 that kept the people in touch with developments and finally made possible organized resistance. Similar organizations, some of which were originally formed for protection against Indian raids, existed during the Texas Revolution. Without them, the colonists could not have been aroused to the point of resistance or had been organized with any degree of effectiveness. Mina, Bastrop, on the frontier, led the communities by appointing on May 8th of 1835 its Committee of Safety and Correspondence. Organizations in Gonzales and Viesca were formed a few days later. Before the end of the summer, apparently, every precinct had such an organization. Close quote. Modern Committees of Safety In the 1990s, there was the Central Florida Committee of Safety and the St. Joseph County, Indiana Committee of Safety. In the 2010s, some of the committees of safety include the Cherokee County, Georgia Committee of Safety, the Walton, Georgia Committee of Safety, the Blue Ridge, North Carolina Mountaineers Committee for Constitutional Restoration, the Arizona Committee of Safety, and most recently, the Hardy County, Oregon Committee of Safety. Establish a Committee of Safety today. You only need two other people who are willing to set one up. Make sure to introduce yourselves to your neighbors and invite them to your initial meeting, where you ought to provide subscriber forms for the general association. Consider one of your first projects to be constructing an early warning system. For more information, download the Committee of Safety Starter Kit and read the following. An Introduction to Committees of Safety. Committees of Safety and the General Association. Are Committees of Safety illegal? Committee of Safety, Volumes 1 and 2, and the Provincial Committees of Safety. For websites, feel free to visit www.committee.org, as well as www.outpost-of-freedom.com. Now go forth! and exercise your rights.